Hey guys. Well, as I suspected, my large uh, amphibious female um, has molted. Well, she was in pre-molt because uh, she hasn't been eating them for about the past month. If you just look, well, you can see her colors, how bright and vibrant she is. Her abdomen is perfectly, usually she had a little bald spot on the back. You can see the nice reddish purple hairs. She's almost a jet iridescent black. And if you look just to the left, to the far left of the screen, you can see um, the legs from her molt. So anyways, uh, it was actually, I checked, it was almost a year to the day since her last molt. So uh, that's uh, it's quite a long time, but uh, she put a lot of size on last year um, from the, her molt that she had last July. So. We'll see uh, how much bigger she gets um, after this molt. And hopefully she'll want to come out and have a drink. I'd like to get a, a little bit of footage of her out of her burrow because it's kind of hard to see her in here. And uh, she's a big, beautiful girl. Anyways, guys, that's just a little uh, look at her. Okay, guys. There's a look at her molt. Um, a couple of legs, they're, they're not on her. That's my bird, sorry. Um, broke off, I guess. It was trying to come out of the burrow. Um, there they are there, parts of them. But uh, it's quite fresh. I didn't think she was as fresh as she was. Um, fangs are still very white, but uh, I didn't disturb her too much. She just kind of scooted to the side. And I was able to get this out. But that's a nice size tarantula beautiful girl and I'm sure she's uh, put some good size on it's too bad the molt wasn't um, intact well it is intact but I kind of destroyed it bringing it out because I would have liked to uh, maybe put this one in like a shadow box or something but anyways that's uh, her molt so as you can see it's more of a brown you know she was pretty faded there but uh, I'll give you a look at her in her burrow again there she is. She's kind of hunkered over there, but she's fine. I'm um, going to give her a good couple of weeks to harden up. And, uh, and then we'll uh, try to give her feeding. Hopefully she'll come out uh, to get a drink because her water dish is sort of kind of way over here. Which it's, it's got water in it, but I'm going to have to top that up. And give her uh, a little bit of a spray down to get humidity up in here a little bit. Anyways, guys, uh, I was kind of anticipating this, and uh, I'm glad she molted. Like I said, it's been a year, so uh, she was due, and she's a great eater. And the last couple of videos, she's she's not wanting to eat, so I mean that's a sign, especially for a pa big panfo that uh, they're in pre-molt. But anyways, guys, that's my a look at my big girl, uh, an update on her. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night. Take care wherever you're at. Bye-bye.